Hey guys, welcome back. Today is brow day. But first, we want to start with measuring our brows. So you want to first see where the beginning of the brow should start. And then across the pupil, you want to see where that arch would be. And then of course, the tail to see where the brow should end. Now I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Palmy. I'm going to take this product and start to fill in my brow and create the shape that I like. You don't necessarily have to use a pommy. You could also use an eyebrow pencil if that is your preference. I do use eyebrow pencils sometimes. Um, I guess it just depends on how I'm feeling, but I think that they do both have the same effect. So I'm filling in my tail and my brows are a bit more sparse so I basically have to create a brow and of course no brows are the same so one brow it may look a little different than the other um, brows are actually supposed to be sisters not twins so just be patient with the process brows take some time but Trust me, sis, you will get it. So I just picked up some more product and I'm adding that now to the top of my brow so that I can start to shape my arch but also in the continuation of filling in the brow in any areas that are a bit bare or sparse, just making your brow look a little more fuller. That's what we're trying to go for here. That I could have that ombre look um, I usually like my brows to be a bit more natural so that's what I'm going for here I'm lifting my brow slightly here just to see if there's any areas that I'm missing or if there's any lines that I need to sharpen up just a bit so I'm continuing on with still filling in the brow, um, but just sharpening the lines a bit. Moving on to concealer. This one is from MAC. It is in the color NC42. I'm using a small angled brush to pick up some of the product. So now that we have some of the product on our brush, we're going to start to carve out our brow. So I like to lift my brow just a little bit so that I can get a clean, crisp cut. So we're going to go ahead and continue to cut and carve out our brow. Um, this step certainly takes some time. You want to make sure that you are being careful while you're carving it out. Just because sometimes you could possibly carve out a little bit too much. Um, so you just want to take your time on this.
Repeating the same process, we're now going to begin to carve out the top of our brow. So I usually use a concealer that is a bit more my skin tone, but just for the sake of this video, I just stuck with the same concealer. I know that many people do actually use the same concealer on the bottom and on the top. For me, I usually don't just because I don't want to have that halo effect where it's bright on the top and it's bright underneath. Um, but it is preference. using a blending brush to blend out that concealer on the top I usually just kind of blend it upwards and then downwards when I'm blending underneath of my brow I usually blend it down into my eyelid I noticed I needed to fill in a few areas after blending um, so now I'm just taking my pomade to just add a little more product um, just to make sure that the brow looks complete using some clear brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills I'm going to go ahead and just put a light coating over it to keep my hair in place And this is the final look. I hope today's video was very helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you in my next video.